Hello, uh, my name is Abby and I am a law student fellow working with the Migrant Center for Human Rights. Um, I started working with the Migrant Center back in June uh, after I relocated to Texas and I was looking for a job um, in the civil rights field, uh, legal services, that industry, and I stumbled across the Migrant Center on Google. Uh, and after reading more about their mission on, on the website and the work that they do, I was like, wow, this is super appealing to me. Um, and so, you know, I applied and I started in June and I was very honored whenever the position was able to be extended through December. Um, so from June to August, I was a, a legal extern. And then from August through December, I'm a law student fellow. Um, and I really have enjoyed the work that we do. So in my role, <clears throat> I do a variety of work that, you know, may seem um, sometimes unconventional as a law student, uh, but I, I love it. And I think that it's very rewarding and very educational. Um, and it's a lot of hands-on work that I just wasn't aware of prior to coming into this role. Um, so some of the things that I, I do, uh, I prepare release requests with ICE. And so that involves, you know, communicating with an individual who's reached out to us and their sponsor and getting the right documents and paperwork needed, and then writing and submitting a release request from detention to ICE. Um, I've done, you know, things that are hands-on in terms of court as well. So representing an individual at a bond hearing uh, before an immigration judge or sitting in with Sarah as she represents somebody who's at their immigration judge review for their credible fear interview results. Um, I've gotten experience with USCIS in representing clients before USCIS uh, and filing, you know, formal requests for reconsideration of their credible fear interviews. Uh, just, you know, highlighting some of the really neat things that I've been able to do. Um, but that when I reflect on my time here with the Migrant Center, there's two things that come to mind that I personally feel very passionate about and that I, I thoroughly enjoy doing. And the first is um, our Know Your Rights presentations that we do on Friday. Um, prior to coming into this role, I, I you know, was very passionate about uh, access to counsel issues in the criminal justice system. And I was naive to access to counsel issues in the immigration system. And so what we do on Fridays is um, individuals sign up in Pearsall to attend our presentation. And then all Friday afternoon, they attend a presentation about testifying tips and tricks, um, rights during the interview with USCIS or you know, they're hearing with the judge. Um, and then we mail them informational packets, depending on where they're at in the immigration system or asylum process, excuse me. And um, that has been, you know, just remarkable to me because sometimes we have 20 people who sign up. Sometimes we have 80, regardless of how many actually sign up, the information that we are able to distribute is just, it's, it's really meaningful. Um, so I, I love that part of what I do. And then the second thing that stands out to me, like, you know, upon reflection is working with non-Spanish and non-English speakers. Um, so I, I personally, you know, I don't, I don't really speak Spanish. I don't speak French. I, I really only speak English. And so whenever an individual contacts us, who's from a country and they don't speak Spanish, French, or English, um, but they've requested our assistance, I get to coordinate, you know, with interpreters, our, our volunteer interpreters are incredible, um, or one of our partners, and get an interpreter for that person so that I can meet with them, and, you know, find out about their case, you know, answer any questions that they might have, and what's beautiful to me is that this person is able to um, hear information in their native language, um, because we have to remember at Pearsall, most people probably only speak Spanish or English, you know, in terms of uh, the people in charge. And so there might be somebody who's been in detention since, you know, December of last year and has no idea what's going on simply because they don't speak the language. Um, so I, I've really enjoyed being able to work with our partners and our volunteers and deliver information to individuals or, you know, conduct a consult or um, decide we're going to represent somebody uh, after meeting with them um, using, like I said, our interpreters or our, our partners. Uh, so the language access 
issue is another that I feel I'm pretty passionate about. And it, it's really neat to watch, you know, what I do be able to be trans, <laughs> no pun intended, but translated to this person who needs our help. Um, so why I do what I do I feel is too big of an answer for this short video, but um, to keep it brief, I firmly believe that every person, you know, on this planet should be treated with dignity and respect, uh, regardless of their past, regardless of what situation has brought them to where they are today, um, regardless of where they're from, what language they speak. And I I firmly believe that every single individual um, has a right, you know, to counsel when they're in these proceedings. I firmly believe that every individual has some, you know, has a right to be advocated for. Um, and so that's kind of, you know, a short answer of why I do what I do. Um, and yeah, so thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. Uh, thank you for your support and uh, you're very, very appreciated.